to. I'll try and post it. I will post it to my little YouTube account. Okay, so we did lip trills. Do another one. And now just a siren. Can you do those gorilla grunts for me? Do it high. And medium. Right where you are with that medium, I want to hear you engage your lower abs just that much. they're not used to where their voice lies and your voice lies lower than everybody else's so as long as you can be comfortable with that and realize that you're going to be comfortable a little bit lower you'll do just fine let's try it again how you feel when you're about to sneeze and you get that lift in the soft palate or you can think about if you're about to cry oh, oh, you get this lift in the soft palate so that makes the tone actually much sweeter if you think of that little cry in the tone so let's try much higher you're comfortable higher i know this is low for you but come on down because now you're wandering around a little bit okay, okay. sing with me speech so we do a lot of speech like qualities for musical theater style singing so whereas if you're singing opera people are like oh, 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 oh. musical theater you almost always have this a little bit of a smile lifting your cheek muscles ha, 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 ha. let's hear that bright smiling quality again better you guys thank you so another key element of musical theater singing this is what helps project your voice when you're speaking to is that <coughs> brassy quality or that we call it um in in classical type of singing you call it um ring in the tone have you heard that mm -hmm. so so to get ring to happen we have these little tricks so what i want you to do is talk like Minnie mouse like hi mickey how are you can you try that for me <laughs> hi mickey how are you exactly so it feels kind of cartoonish but what happens is when you're doing that your larynx comes up higher so you don't your resonance space changes and then also a lot of the sound is coming out of the mask and through your nose too which is just fine because it's a way to get that projecting quality so let's try
Okay, also, good news for you, Brittany, is that you're much comfortable, more comfortable lower. When we get to like B flat, B, you're like, oh, I don't know where my voice should go there. But this trick will help you get into your upper voice to be able to sing in your, because it is there. You just are not used to singing in it yet. So let's try. say all right if I have a scratch to glare cough something is out of balance there and usually what it is is you may be pushing the breath a little bit so imagine you're inhaling instead of exhaling when you sing yeah. try one more time is that working for you imagine that you're inhaling instead of exhaling see that you don't like to go across but you did it very nice all right now let's go the other way you're gonna go up yeah, yeah. I started to not belt it but I'm belting it did you hear the difference first time it transitioned up yeah into my upper register um, second time I said no I'm not gonna do that yeah I belted it and I want you to do the same find that as we go along but let me give you the basic parameters of that belt sound so for women's voices it's going to hit you a little hot uh lower than it does wait <laughs> higher well differently than it does for men okay because you're in different octaves and everything but anyway so but women are belting now up into like an f or a g they're asked to belt on in musical theater so it's a different kind of thing, but you're going to feel like, you know, you're not allowing your voice to transition into that next register that it would normally want to go into. And you're carrying a little more weight up in the voice. And yet to do so healthfully, you've got to observe some of the same parameters that we did before. You can't push the breath too much. Very little breath. Here's an analogy. If you had a balloon and it had air in it and you were trying to let the air out of the neck and you're <coughs> squeezing the neck of the balloon, there'd be this little high sound, right? And it's very little air that's passing through the balloon, right? If you squeeze the bag, what happens to the sound? It kind of goes <laughs> splat, right? So when you feel that scratch, tickle, or cough, that's the kind of thing that's happening with your vocal folds, is that there's an imbalance of air, too much air coming over the vocal folds, and it throws them off a little bit. So that's what we don't want to have happen. So let's try it again. And you're going to um, anchor with your body like you're carrying tall, heavy suitcases. And if you want to tilt your chin up a little bit, sometimes that helps to give you a good belt. Uh, I'll explain why later, but... Yeah. 